Let's bring Susan Shaw in now. She's, she's, a, she, she's a real expert on this, and, and she's been looking at this for quite some time. Let me just start you with this question, Susan, very simple. If, if, the, if this dispersant, if this correct Sol 9500 is as bad as they say it is, why aren't we seeing massive uh, fish kills, given how much more we're now learning was used than we originally thought was being used? Right. Hi, Rick. Um, well, first of all, let me just say that we, we knew going into this, the EPA knew, and this was in the um, National Academy of Sciences report, that this mixture mm -hmm. is highly toxic, ex extremely toxic to many, many species. And just to, to uh, single out a couple of shrimp and, you know, s s small animals, it's, it's just totally in disagreement with what we knew going into it. But where's the data? Where's the data, Susan? Back up here. The data, it, it, you, you realize now that for months the, the Gulf has been closed off to independent researchers, and we it, because it's a, a, of the lawsuits. So we and you know people can't get in there. So that's one thing. But uh -huh. there's a lot of anecdotal da data, and I was there personally there three weeks ago, and uh, when I was on your show, and I yeah. can tell you this: I fishermen across the Gulf independent of each other, not knowing what anybody else is saying, told me they've never seen so many dead fish. And I said, oh, really? I hadn't heard that. It's like what you're saying. Yeah, all the bait fish were dead up on the beaches. All the small herring were dead. And then when I went out on Barataria Bay with the shrimpers, I, I was out there. They, they showed me dead uh, material in the water. It's just it was eerie out there. There was nothing alive in that water, and that's a, you know, as you know, a very highly impacted area. But the, but but the stories you're sharing with us, unfortunately, and, and look, I, I'm not I'm not saying that you're not right, and I'm certainly not saying those fishermen aren't, aren't right. That's anecdotal. I mean, that's, that's somebody told somebody they saw something, as opposed to we did a test and recorded this percentage of the population of this type of fish is dead. Where is that kind of data? Well, I think we were banned from the area before we could get in and, and see all that. I don't think we are getting the picture. And what, that's what exactly what needs to happen is we need to measure. I mean, there, are, there are obviously going to be long-term impacts of all that oil and all that dispersant in the water column. We know that. We have the science on that. Sweden has done the studies, Israel, Australia has done the st studies. I think it's like something like a quarter of any of all the studies that have been, out of 400 that have been done on oil spills have shown this, how toxic that mi mixture is. And by the way, it's much more toxic than oil alone. Well, that's not what the EPA is saying, but let me bring Chad in. He wants to ask you a question as well, uh, Ms. Professor. Ms. Shaw, I, I, Professor, I, I'm just, I'm a little bit curious as to why they would take this shrimp and this inland silver side and make a blanket statement like they did the saying this is less toxic this way than it is this way when you have or you, it seems that you have much more information about other species that could be more toxic where are you getting that information and when where uh, I, I, I understand I heard a couple things but where do we know and what will we be seeing from this corrects in 9500 and all the other ones that they might have used for other things than a mycid shrimp and an inland whatever Right. Well, I'll give you, this is what worries me, but I'll give you a couple of examples, okay? With uh, corals, for example, corals in the mix, in presence of the mixture have 0% fertilization rates. In the presence of oil alone, they have 98% fertilization rates. Hmm. And it, this is, um, it's been shown in studies. We've done a very thorough review of the literature. It's a very large literature, and they're just, we can just back it up with the science. Yeah. It, well, this, here... Here's the mixture is lethal to many, many species, and I, I do think it is species-specific, mm -hmm. but well, it goes all the way up to the small fish.